Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be um, my melting basket for the next week um, in, the, uh, in the wax collab that I'm participating in. So this week is Melt One Vendor. And I think that it can be any vendor you want. The only stipulation is that you have to melt only that vendor for the whole week. So I was kind of trying to debate. I have a ton of L3, a ton of Rose Girls. And I don't know. I've accumulated a lot from certain vendors. But um, Ava's Country Cupboard has always been like a top three vendor for me. I absolutely love her stuff and I really love her bakery blends and it's supposed to be cold again this week where I live. <laughs> so I thought I would take this opportunity to go through some of my bakery bags and a lot of the samples. If you've ordered from Ava's you know she sends tons of samples which is so appreciated and it's crazy because once I started looking through my stash, I don't have as much Ava's as I thought I did. She was literally the majority of my collection, I feel like, at the beginning of 2021. So it's just interesting. So clearly I love her stuff and um, I think I'm going to really enjoy this week of melting. So I'm going to start by showing you guys the samples. And this first one is Elephant Ear. And I actually have that in a bakery bag. So Elephant Ear is scrumptious fried dough with cinnamon and sugar. I'm very excited to melt this because ugh, I love her Elephant Ear scent. It just smells so edible and delicious. Another sample I have here is Beach Cabana. And I brought my iPad over here so I could actually look up notes but it doesn't look like that one's on here so hmm. but it does just smell beachy but it's really weird because I smell a little bit of like melon in this so that's interesting but it smells nice next sample I have is boardwalk marshmallow clouds and cake pops which we are all know what that is And this one smells really good. I think I talked about it when I hauled and had this sample that the cake pop in this smells not as sweet. So it's almost giving off a zucchini bread vibe. It smells much more gourmand or like edible than Boardwalk Marshmallow Cloud normally smells. Like I really like it. Then we have lemon sugar cookies, which is pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, and that smells amazing. It just smells like a lemon cookie. Reminds me of the Girl Scout lemonade cookies. Then we have cookie dough um, Noel, and this is just cookie dough blended with vanilla bean Noel. And this is interesting. It definitely smells doughy, but I don't know how I feel about it. So normally I love like a yeasty smell. Like I like the smell of like a yeasty pretzel, but this smells like almost like cookie dough bread. Like it smells like it has yeast in it and it's really strong. So we'll see how that melts. Then we have salty sea air. Oh no, that one. And this one's nice. It's definitely a salty sea air scent. I have smelled some I like better, but it's a very fresh aquatic scent. Then I have Bye Bye Summer. And Bye Bye Summer is crisp autumn air, warm sunlight, and burning leaves. And I really like this. This definitely smells like crisp fall air. Kind of out of season for me. I told you guys I'm super seasonal, but I don't know. That's really pretty. I feel like this would be a good one to melt to on like a rainy day. It just kind of has like that fresh fall and leaf smell. And then how many other samples are there? I think two. 
So this next one here is Fresh Cut Roses. And that's what it smells like, Fresh Cut Roses. This one is a little bit more perfumey, not quite as green. I do like that. Um, it will probably go in a bathroom. And then lastly, I have, um, for samples, I have Blueberry Zucchini Bake. And this one is buttery white cake, brown sugar, fresh blueberries, and zucchini with hints of cinnamon and nutmeg. This smells so good. I feel like the longer I've had this sample, the more the blueberry has jumped out. Almost reminding me of like a vanilla, a vanilla, a blueberry muffin smell. So I really, really like that. Now on to the larger items I have here. So I'll start first with this pie slice. I used to have a ton of these and it's crazy. I think this is one of the last ones I have. So this is strawberry coconut cake. And strawberry coconut cake is creamy cake batter baked to perfection blended with creamy coconut and ripe strawberries. Hmm. This smells pretty good, but I'm kind of leery of this. Um, my empties for last week's wax basket will go up this Wednesday. And there's a scent in there that I melted from Ava's that I absolutely hate it that had strawberry in it. And this kind of smells like that strawberry. I feel like if I melt this and the um, coconut and that cake smell come out a little bit more, I could like it. But mm, I don't know. It doesn't smell bad, but it just smells like that strawberry. So I'm kind of nervous about it. The next one I have here is actually a souffle cup. This is an I Smell Snow. And this is hints of orange, mango, and grapefruit with middle notes of cactus, fir balsam, pine, and the clean, crisp notes of eucalyptus infused with hints of cedar wood and amber. So, this one's so pretty on top. And I love, like, I've had this since 2020, and it's not gotten messed up at all. This definitely smells Christmassy. Um... This honestly is a scent that I probably would not repurchase. It's definitely not my kind of scent. It's super duper eucalyptus-y. So I'll probably melt a little bit of that in a bathroom. And if I don't like it, I'm going to pass it on because I refuse to melt things that I don't care for. So next I have a set of these donuts. This is in Butterfudge Baklava. Let me find that scent description here. Okay, butterfudge baklava is nutty, flaky, crust, caramelized sugar, buttery vanilla fudge, and a hint of cinnamon sugar. I love her donuts. They're really pretty. Let me show you guys. So that's what they look like. I just love Ava's. This smells amazing. You definitely get that crust note, the cinnamon sugar. This is going to be such a good bakery blend. I'm pretty sure I've melted this before too. But yeah. Smells super good. And then I have another set of donuts. And fried ice cream and toffee. And the scent description for this says vanilla bean ice cream, toffee bits, toasted nuts, whipped cream, and a dash of cinnamon. And this smells so good. So this is from 2021. Yeah, that smells heavy and delicious. If you guys notice, a lot of my scents from Ava's are bakery scents because I just absolutely adore her bakery scents. Um, the next one I have here is in Summer Sorbet. And this is Sugared Lemon Sweet Strawberry and Creamy Coconut. This smells so good. So I definitely get that strawberry note, but the lemon in this is just balancing it perfectly. And then the creamy coconut is just making it so the lemon isn't so like aggressive to the nose. Um, that smells great. And then I have two little snowflakes in blizzard cookies. Okay, and Blizzard Cookies is Vanilla Frosted Peppermint Sugar Cookies. 
And that's what this smells like. The peppermint in this is a little bit nose clearing, but not too much. It almost smells a little bit creamy. It almost smells a little smoky too, which is interesting. But yeah, that smells nice. And then we're going to jump into the bakery bags and the one little loaf I have. So the loaf I have here is Frankenstein. And this is pumpkin pecan waffles, vanilla bean Noel, and buttery vanilla cupcakes. Um... This was a really cute loaf that actually had like a Frankenstein embed on it. And I really like this scent. I was talking to my mom and my sister because I bought this loaf because I got it confused with Monster Mash. I was thinking that Monster Mash was this Frankenstein scent. And then when I actually looked over what Monster Mash is, I was like, oh, that's not the same scent. I think Monster Mash is like Cider Lane Sugar Cookie and Zucchini. And so... um. While I do like this scent, I probably wouldn't have gotten it if I had realized this wasn't Monster Mash. So I do like it. It smells really good, and I will definitely melt it. Um, yeah, but next time now I know better. <laughs> so that's a loaf I want to work through. Then I have Coffee House Crunch. This is freshly brewed coffee, vanilla, and crunchy caramel bits. I love, love, love this scent. She did a pre-order last year and I got two bags of it. It's so good. This is one of my favorite coffee scents. It's right up there with Koopa Claus Needs a Latte. The coffee is so strong, but you get that sweetness from the vanilla and the caramel. So good. That's going to be great in the morning. Then I have... Buttercream maple zucchini, fresh zucchini bread with maple and buttercream. This is one that I did not get to. It was in my last melting basket um, because um, last week was flashy shapes and colors and I really liked the shape of this. But I didn't get to melt any of it. But since it's going to be cooler again this week, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity. This is so good. One of my favorite scents from Ava's. You get the zucchini bread, the sweetness from the maple. It's definitely buttery. It smells amazing. Excited to melt that. And then the last bag I have here is marshmallow peppermint cake. This is sweet white cake blended with loads of marshmallows and smooth peppermint from 2020. And this smells good. This is definitely sweeter than the blizzard cookies the peppermint is. I'm glad I let this sit because I feel like when I first got this, the peppermint was super astringent. But I actually think this is going to be pretty. And I will melt this in my bedroom. So that's it, guys. Definitely not as um, large as my last melting basket. Although I did work through quite a few things in that basket. Again, it was very ambitious, so I did not get through everything. I actually think that I will probably be able to get through all of this this week. And that will be Super exciting if I'm able to do that. Um, yeah, please join in the collab if you haven't already. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.